Mr. Singleton. Lord Homewood. Thank you, thank you all for coming. Jonathan, you're late. For a very, very good reason. <laughs> mm. Calm down, there are people. I came via the university, but they've posted the results for the final examination. Let me see. Oh, Jonathan. <laughs> mm. Calm down, Mina. There are people. <laughs> As many of you know, I have had some difficult times recently. But when Miss Westenra and I marry next year, she will make me the happiest man alive. To Lucy. To Lucy! Don't you want to marry me? Oh, congratulations. <laughs> if we postpone until next year... We talked of this summer. It's been arranged for this summer. Lucy. Don't you love me? Yes. I will not hear of postponement, Arthur. I want to be with you now. We will be married in the summer. Mina! Hello. I'm glad you could come. Why did I see more of you? You keeping your young man locked away? <laughs> Arthur, you remember Mina Murray. We were at school together. Of course. And this is Jonathan Harker, her fiancé. Pleased to meet you, sir. <laughs> They're getting married sometime in the next decade, isn't it, Mina? <laughs> Jonathan's making her wait in a manner that's unacceptable. Jonathan's just passed his solicitor's exams, which was our plan to wait until things were secure. Come. <laughs> You're a solicitor? Yes, sir. Which firm? Hawkins, Bates & Company, Bishop's Gate? It's not a firm I know. No, it's just a small firm, sir. General conveyancing. It's just me and Mr. Hawkins. Travel. How's that for an exciting word, Jonathan? It's exciting. <laughs> it's louder for you, Mr. Hawkins. No, 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 no. Too many important things. Influential clients. The future of our firm, my fine young solicitor, and the future of our firm. And who's the new client? A Mr. Singleton. Long face. A bit like a tombstone. <laughs> but we don't care about that. Do we care about that? No. No, we don't. The aforementioned Mr. Singleton has an associate who is moving his interests here from the continent. And Mr. Singleton is purchasing a raft of properties on his behalf and wants us to do the conveyancing. On completion of the work, one of us, who is not old, and who yearns for travel and other excitements, will visit Transylvania and transfer the deeds personally and deal with any matters that may arise. And what's the name of his associate? Count Dracula, a nobleman, no, a very private nobleman, says Stony Face Singleton, who wishes his affairs to remain private. I assured him that discretion was our watchword, the mistress that we woke up with every morning. And he said, if this was so, then we would be rewarded handsomely. Questions, my boy? Where is Transylvania? Do you wish you were coming with me? Well, I wish I was going to Florence with you. Or Athens. And we will. And Paris and Venice. And Vienna. And Vienna. <laughs> we do these things. Of course we'll do these things. This mm -hmm. is the beginning, Mina. We will look back on this time and say this is where our life started. Be safe. Be safe and write to me. I got into Bistritz nearly eight hours late. It seems, Mina, that the further east you go in Europe, the less punctual are the trains. Tonight, I travel by coach across the Carpathian Mountains and into Transylvania. My guide, I read that every known superstition in the world is gathered into the horseshoe of the Carpathians, from werewolves to witchcraft, as if it were the center of some imaginary whirlpool.
Hello? Guten Abend, mein Herr. Ich heiße Jonathan Harker. I know who you are. Well, then you'll know I have an appointment with Count Dracula. I am Dracula. Pleased to meet you, sir. I must be hungry. Yes, very tired. And I must eat. We have much to do. You have something for me. From Mr. Singleton. Yes, from Mr. Hawkins. My employer, Bishopsgate, London, sir. remain in your rooms. This castle is not safe. The coach will be at the pass at six o'clock tomorrow. I wondered if it would be possible for your driver to take me. I was hoping to conclude our business in the evening tomorrow. In the day I am occupied. You will have to oblige me next to day. Sleep well. left England for Europe two weeks ago. Yes. Transylvania. He has no knowledge that Mr. Hawkins was shot dead in his office. No. Where in Transylvania did Mr. Harper go? I don't know. Did he tell you the name of his client? There was a confidentiality clause to his company's contract, sir. And Mr. Harker is a conscientious lawyer. Miss Murray, I have to tell you we can find no record of a Transylvanian client among the papers 